Yes, I can convert any Lovable website into a WordPress website. This is DevBase. It's a website I built using Lovable, and as you can see, it's gorgeous. Lovable is really good at making this kind of sites, but I want to be able to edit this myself in Elementor. So in this video, we're going to copy this Lovable website into WordPress and also remove the icon at the bottom here. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is build a Lovable website. Once your Lovable website is built, you are going to need to publish it so that you can get this link here. Once you have your link, you are going to go to Google and search for Clone Web X WordPress and click on the first result here. This is the tool that we're going to be using to export our Lovable website to WordPress. So click on go to app here. And in here, if you don't have an account, you are going to need to click on sign up here and create an account. But I'm just going to click on login. Once we're logged in, we are going to need to click on create project and give our project a name. I'll just say dev base here. And in here, we're going to need to copy the link of our website into this input box here and click on create account. On this page, you are going to need to click on this link here in order to install the Softlight plugin. So when you get to this page, just click on install plugin here. Once our plugin is installed, you can close this page and go back to your website here. In your website, you are going to need to go to the extensions tab here and then click on this extension here. And in here, you are going to need to click on the project that we created here and click on add page. This will begin the exporting process for our page here. Once our page is exported, you are going to see a page like this where you can copy every element one by one or you can copy the entire page by switching to entire page in the export type here. On the page builder, we have Gutenberg, Webflow, Bricks, Breakdance, etc. But I'm going to use Elemental, so I'll keep it here. Next, we're going to need to click on this link here to download the Softlight plugin. Once our plugin is downloaded, we are going to go to WordPress and log into our WordPress site. Once we're logged in, we are going to go to plugins and add plugins and then upload plugins. In here, we're just going to need to drag this zip here into this input box and then click on install. Once our plugin is installed, we simply activate it and boom, we have our Softlight plugin installed. Next, we're going to click on add plugin again, then search for and install Elemental. So I'm gonna say Elemental and then click on install. This is going to take a while to install. So please like the video and subscribe while you are installing it. Once it is installed, we are going to click on activate to activate it. In here, just click on this to cancel everything. And as you can see, we now have our plugins installed. The Elemental plugin, as well as the soft light plugin. Once we have both our plugins, what we're going to do is go to pages and click on add page. In here, we're going to give our home page a name and I'm going to give it the name home page because this is our landing page. And then I'm going to click on publish and publish. Once it is published, I'm going to click on edit with Elemental here to open the page in Elemental. Once we're in Elemental, I am going to click on page settings here and then go to the bottom and change our page layout from default to canvas. Next, we're going to go back to Clone Web X here and click on export here. This will begin exporting our lovable website. Once it is done, we click on copy to clipboard here and then go back to WordPress. And within this container here, I'm just going to right click and click on paste from other side and then click on control V to paste the page here. And boom, our Lovable website is successfully cloned here. If we scroll to the bottom here, you'll see that we still have this Lovable icon here. So to remove it, we simply click on this structure here and click on this button here. And as you can see, this is this thing here. So we just highlight it and then click on delete to remove it. After we're done, you just need to click on publish. Once it is published, you need to click on this icon here and then click on exit to WordPress. In WordPress, go to settings and then reading and change our home page to static page and select our home page as the page you created here and then click on save. This will ensure that when we visit our website, we get to see our home page. As you can see, this is now our home page. Everything looks proper and you can see that the lovable icon at the bottom here is no longer available. So if your website has like multiple pages, you are going to need to copy each page individually, but you are going to be able to edit all the things in your pages in Elemental. 
as of the recording of this video, CloneWebX offers a free trial here. So you can build two sites using this method to try the tool out before you buy. But once you buy, you can build 30 sites for $10 per month. So if you do decide to buy a CloneWebX plan, please use my link in the video description to support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.